So this is the way I see it. We all know that Adam Aaron can sell up to 390 million shares. He already sold 40 million. Um, he raised uh, close to whatever it was, 400 mil. We know the company is not going into bankruptcy, correct? Okay, we know that, at least at least for the time being, okay? At least for the next six months to a year. We do know he burns through a lot of cash, but it's safe for now. Now, at the same time, okay, there really isn't enough public trust at AMC, in my opinion, yet, that people are going to want to go along with this because they're scared, because it, the reality still sits in their head. This guy's terrible with money. He burns through cash. You know, there's still a lot of debt. So I don't feel people are going to want to go long on AMC. So what does this mean? I'm trying to explain to you. Look, sometimes you got to adapt to new situations. There is a lot of short-term potential to make money in AMC. You know, in other words, AMC could go down a little bit, could go down to the sevens, could get possibly to the six range, but it's going to go right back up for the simple reason they know the company is not going to go bankrupt. They know the company has a lot of cash you know, in the vault and, and could even do more dilution and could get access to even more cash. So I feel because of that reason, it became a day trader's dream. You're going to see seven to eight, seven to eight, you know, buying the seven, selling the eights or possibly the nines. Now, at some point, if he makes some really great strategic moves, big things happen, that's when you might see a major run. But I don't see that happening. He's not making any strategic moves. The guy's talking about starting a friggin' a, a wine wine company for the apes. Guy's an idiot. Adam Aaron is an idiot. So there's really no big catalyst plays happening here. Okay. So what I see is windshield wiper seven eight seven eight. And if you play your cards right, you could actually make a shitload of money. You could probably do this. You could trade this thing over the next several months, a hundred, two hundred times. You could make a fortune. Again, I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer, but that's just the way I see it. Possibly might even be the way I'm going to do it. Okay, but I'm not going to tell you my my uh, my plans. You got to do your own plans. Don't listen to me. I'm not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer.